All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam three, um, problem number seven, All right? So let's find uh, the value of A and the value of D to match the picture here, All right? So uh, we're gonna start with the plain cosine function. So uh, first one is say Y equals cosine of X, All right? So uh, the uh, cosine is gonna look like this. It's gonna go through here and uh, it's going to go through, uh, let's see, cosine of pi is negative 1, so it's somewhere around there. So uh, it's going to go through uh, here, and the same thing happening over here. And then, um, so the graph is going to look kind of like this. Uh, let's see. Go here, go through that point, go up here, go through that point, and go down here. And they're gonna go up here, or something like that. All right. So this is the uh, just the plain cosine of x. All right. To match the picture, uh, first thing I would do is uh, change the uh, alt um, amplitude. And to figure out the correct amplitude, if you look at the highest point of the picture we want would be one, and lowest point is negative three. So the difference is four. So divide by two gives you the amplitude. So two is the amplitude, right? So what we need to do is we're going to multiply this function by two. So we can uh, vertically stretch the picture uh, by a factor of two. So cosine of x, right? So graph is going to look like this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just erase the. Um, I'm going to extend the y y axis a little bit up here so that we can draw stuff. And uh, that's going to be, uh, say, my two there, right? Then the picture is going to look like this. So let's say I'm going to put the negative two here too, right? So it's going to have the same picture, just a stretch uh, vertically. So it's going to look uh, kind of like this. All right? And uh, here on this side, it's the same thing happening uh, like this. All right, so something like that, All right? Then uh, only difference is that you gotta shift it down a bit. Uh, looks like we have to shift it down one notch, so we can easily do that to get the uh, so y is equal to uh, two cosine of x, right? To shift it down, all you really have to do is subtract uh, in this case one notch, so minus one, right? So therefore. We know what we're looking for. Uh, a value uh, shows up right here. So A is equal to 2. D value shows up right here, which is negative 1. Right? So that's the um, A value and the D value that we are looking for. Right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.